Hello and welcome back to the Mike from LA1 channel here on YouTube and welcome back to the Phoenix Fight Five Player Series. This is episode 9. In the last episode, Phoenix made his first game of his sophomore season as he prepares. But first, before we go on to the next game, Phoenix is currently a member of the Phoenix Suns, which in the last episode, he got sick of Phoenix and he wanted out. So we're going to add more to his free throw. And, oh, well, that's a little embarrassing. And add more to his shot medium, I guess. So he's now 62 overall. And you know what? Here's something new. I didn't do this with the kick in the nuts and the max power. Here, I'm going to show you his choices. Number one, Toronto Raptors. Number two, the Denver Nuggets. Number three, the Atlanta Hawks. Well, and look at this. The Raptors and the Lakers are interested in Phoenix. So now let's take a look as we play the next key game. And look at this. He completed a milestone, but that's not the one. And that is it. Phoenix is going to the Eastern Conference for the first time in his career because he is going to Toronto to play for the Raptors. And here's the infamous screen of You've Been Traded. So we will be playing his debut game here. That this is the first time and get ready for Phoenix's debut everybody. There it is. He's in Toronto. Let's take a look at the schedule, and the next rival game will be against Orlando, and he'll be, so he'll be playing in OK, uh, Air Canada Center. And okay, wow. So season two will be ending pretty quickly. So now let's take a look at the. Oh, hang on, let me turn down the TV. It might be a little too loud. So yeah, we saw the Kings rally just a championship rally a few uh, minutes ago. So it was nice, but we we apologize for that they had and they apparently they the sense the FCC didn't catch something as you can see they they gave up the, they sent Phoenix and a 13th overall first round pick to Jared Bayless and the and a second round draft pick. And right now let's take a look at the standings so far in this season. Let's take a look at the standings here for the Raptors and the Raptors are 10 and 14 but they're doing better than the Nets. But it's the wrong series so. So now let's add more skill points which I'm this is what I've been doing the whole episode is adding more skill points. Now it looks like we might have to add to the something to the defense here. Okay, we're gonna add one to that and add one for that. Okay. So hopefully that still didn't make him enough. So now he is a member of the Toronto Raptors from here on out. And now let's play his debut game against the Golden State Warriors. And this is his Raptors debut. As you can see, he has scored 10 in a game, but the, another milestone is 20. So, but he's almost close to shooting 60%. Is he's at 50? So for three and ones in the single game, he only has one. And so now let's head to the Air Canada Center to kick off the game. As you will see, Phoenix put on the Raptors uniform for the very first time. Here we go. And the Warriors are 19 and 4. Where do they come from? But this is going to be a tough spot for Phoenix because they, they have Jose Calderon. Jose Calderon here. And there you see Phoenix in the bright red color outfit here. Here we go. As Phoenix gets ready to play north of the border for the first time in his career. 
as a 6 and 8 this time around. It's in favor of the Raptors. Hopefully to pull off an incredible upset. As he's at shooting guard again here. Ugh. You know what, let's take a look and see how Phoenix looks in this up in his uniform here. You can buy these uniforms for over nine for nineteen ninety nine, so players to do. They are facing a good shot blocking team, and if they can keep them guessing on when to jump, they'll be in a And uh, there's a personal foul on Bedrian. So that means they're not going to the free throw line. Doris, thank you. Taking on a defense like that one they're facing today, Clark has certainly got their attention. Yeah, you know, again, I think they're going to As there's the Phoenix right trying to get. They need to dictate what they do and he, that was a bad pass and a turnover, but Phoenix is ready to block it, and he allowed a sort of turnover, but did he get a good shot defense? No, he did not. And there's Phoenix's first point. Phoenix's first point as a Raptor. And he missed, so that means he's going to the free throw line. As, we as he completes an objective. Looking at Toronto, they've not really done anything to distinguish themselves this year. I mean, they haven't been terrible, but they haven't been very good either. And this is kind of the worst place to be in the NBA, you know, Clark, just in the middle of the road. I mean, you're not good, you're not bad, you're just sort of, sort of mediocre. So this team, I think, has to make some changes. And he misses the first free throw. Is checked in for Udo's checked in for Golden State. Lee comes in for Steph Curry. I hope you guys are... As he makes that one, so he now he has three points in the night. And now he has to guard Monte Ellis, who's not with the Warriors anymore. He's with the Bucks. I don't know why the heck is he still in this uniform. Oh, gee, excuse me. And there's the good shot defense. Couldn't come at a better time. And those of you who don't know or don't follow hockey, this is the home of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And there's Phoenix with his another point here, so he is so far doing really good. You should have passed it to me, doofus. You should have passed it to Phoenix, doofus, excuse me. He shoots, he, he dunks, and he sucks. And there's the free throw, and that means it's time for another free throw here as, as the coach at the Raptors calls for it as he is out for the rest of the the rest of the half with the score 49-39 the Raptors are trailing but so far he likes his debut with the Raptors
Uh, no, I don't have the uh, case and on my hello iPod And welcome yet. to this edition of HB at the Half. Let's get you caught up with the latest here in the NBA's midseason action. Both these guys... Monte Ellis beats the Warriors. Well, Andrei Bagnani leads for the Raptors. Teams playing later tonight. That's after game here. Uh oh, the world's coming to an end. No. The Nets out in New Jersey will go up against Seven and the 76ers. That's really bad, New Jersey. A surge of rifle. Draw 15 and 9. Where do they come from? Uh, but we're screwed because we have to play the Celtics four times. Oh, jeez. And there's the Raptor, who's named Raptor for some reason. The start of the second half. Neither it, side didn't they give him a name? At least Fan 18, can you help me out here? Okay, and now it, Phoenix is back in the game. Hopefully not as a shooting guard. Yep, he's a point guard. So it looks like so far he's like it. He likes it here in Toronto better than he had in Phoenix. As Phoenix gets blocked, as there's uh oh, look out! For the first time in any of my series, he'll be facing off against. Lynn Sanity. That's right. Jeremy Lynn is a, in a warrior in this game. So gotta be careful. And now dynamic goal. Bring your team within five. Oh jeez. Why do they always have to put it on Phoenix? But so far Phoenix tries to make it through past Lynn. But unfortunately he has to be forced into pass. They passed it to Klaza. And there's another turnover for Phoenix, but well, he almost got it, but unfortunately, no. And there's another turnover for Phoenix. Jeez, and there's the turnover, and what the? Well, wow, Phoenix is n must be drinking. We need off the mark there with the three-point shot. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply. Oh, he gets a leave of Simon. Jeez. But he's learning about... How was that a leave of Simon? He was right nose to land. Come on, that's freaking treason. Oh, jeez, there's two rights here. Both times, turnover. That's not productive basketball. That's not winning basketball. No, Clark, you know, you start stringing errors back to back together, you lose all momentum in this game. And he filled the lane correctly, so he could be back in C-minus range in no time. An assist should just about do it. As blocked again, so that is not helping, but he got a rebound. As he passes it to Johnson, and he scores, and he gets the assist. He's back at C-minus range. He got an offensive rebound, which I have no idea what I just did. Is it Raptors ball, or is it still Warriors? Come on, come on, Lakers! You're you can do better than that. And now he has to block against Stephen Curry from formerly from Davidson University, which takes place in uh, North Carolina. 
I think. I have really have no idea. And he's back at deep plus range once again. Jeez. As he gets fouled. Well, with 6.2 left on the clock, that's what you expect. And there's Phoenix. And there's Johnson. And there's an assist for another assist for Phoenix with 0.3 seconds left on the clock. And at the end of the end of the half, if the lead scores are Ellis from Golden State, Barbosa from Toronto. And the, end of the, the Warriors are up by eight. Excuse me. Now it's time for the advertisement for December 20th, 2012. This Thursday night, LeBron James and the Miami Heat take on Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks. It's the real deal. Oh, wow, Dallas. You need a lot of work. And they have a lot of rival games. As Phoenix is back out there. And he got blocked again, so back to deep plus range for. And there's a block! The first block in Phoenix Wright's career. I think that. Yep, back to C minus, and. Well, pretty much near comfortable range. Pretty much close to confidence range. Wait, who's he? Who's Phoenix attacking now? Better not be Troy Murphy. Nope, Doro Wright. So that's three rights all together. And there's some good shot defense, so he is back in. Well, that should be easy, and unfortunately, Phoenix commits another turnover, the fourth in the game. Oh, by the way, I tried the Gear Deli uh, ice cream parlor at Disney California Adventure. It's to die for. I will check it out if I were you. So we're now at the free throw line. So, and they made to convert the end one. So, as Phoenix moves back to shooting guard for Calderon. As Barbosa, he gets a pass leading to foul, so he's back at C minus, still in C minus, and comfortably. Um, McGlynis is coming in, has. Oh, jeez. Come on, Phoenix. That's his first foul of the match. On defense, Toronto. They trail by 11. And he allowed him to score, so he down in deep plus territory once again. So that really sucks. As Phoenix tries to. Here's 
as fans in Toronto are furious about this and look out Phoenix so that means going to the free throw line as they compare the Golden State Warriors as he goes as Phoenix goes back to being the point guard as he draws the blocking foul and it's on Stephen Curry which is his fifth personal so I think that leads you to you're out of the game for good for the game I mean excuse me As, the, as Phoenix tries his best, and look at this, another turnover. So now he's a D average. But, look at this. He commits a foul after the second one, and now it's a good one, so he's back at D+. Plus. So Phoenix right now is trying his best to get him back on the scoreboard here. As another turnover for Phoenix. Oh boy, things are not going his way for his debut here in Canada. And now he has to guard Stephen Curry. Guarded by Wright. As the Warriors call a timeout, but now there's one left for Phoenix, for Toronto. Still keep calling him, keep calling, thinking that he's still a member of the Suns. As Toronto. And there's, and unfortunately he missed. As, well, back deep plus, but he got an assist. And now with less, almost less than 67 seconds left to go in the game here as the As with less than a minute ago As right now Phoenix is getting confused of who his assignment is Now it's the Doug Douglas Roberts and now the Warriors are up by 20. Here. And there it is. So that means time to go back to the free throw line here. The first one he missed. And there you see Phoenix wearing the Toronto uniform for the very first time here. Yeah. 
And he misses his three throws, so as a result, he'll end the game with a D average. Which is really unfortunate, but oh well. So I think that should just about do it for this episode, because he stayed in for the whole fourth quarter, which is... Because what do you expect? He's playing for a really bad team who is doing really bad, who is rebuilding. So that's what you expect if you're playing for a team. So it sucks that this time around he's going to be one game per episode, but eh, oh well. What do you expect? Now it's time for the press conference. Pretty big change of scenery for you moving to a new team. How much of an adjustment period is there going to be before you're comfortable here? Uh, I'm hoping it'll happen pretty quickly. It's a definite challenge to try to learn a new offense and figure out tendencies and preferences for a whole new group of guys. But everyone's been great here in welcoming me to the team and doing whatever they could to bring me up to speed. I thought tonight's game went pretty well, too. And it'll only get better the more we get used to each other. Well, that is going to be good for Phoenix. So that's just about doing it. It sucks that this episode is going to be one per episode because they, usually, if you, because usually they don't let you stay in for the second, sit you out for the second half. But all right, guys, this is Mike from LA One. See you guys, and the next time we meet from the Phoenix Wright My Player Series. Later, folks.